Hi, this is Michael, VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln in South Australia. And uh, there's another one of my YouTube videos. This time, I'm showing you what I've been playing with, um, with a D-Star client software, which allows you to turn your computer, plus a DV dongle, plus a little bit of extra hardware into a D-Star radio. And what we got here is my trusty old Toshiba laptop. I love this one. It's still got a serial port on the back. I'll be hanging on to this one as long as I can. On the side here, we have a DV dongle. That's needed because, of course, the codec used on D-Star is locked in hardware. So we need that for any sort of audio work with D-Star. On this side, in this USB port, I've got a Sound Blaster USB sound card plugged in. And uh, the two audio in and out cables run through to a Signalink SL1 Plus, which is a computer sound card to radio interface. The advantage with this is that it has a Vox circuit built into it, so when it receives the D-Star audio from the computer, it will key the radio. Without that, you'd need to make up a transistor-based push-to-talk switch, which would plug into a serial port. Um, this is a nice, elegant way out of that. The only problem, of course, I've found with this is that there is transformer-based isolation with the audio. And I'm thinking those transformers, the low-frequency response, isn't quite good enough to pass the D-Star GMSK signal completely unmangled, and I'm getting some audio corruption and some issues receiving slow-speed data through this. But um, that's a work in progress. It's uh, quite working very good as far as audio goes. And I've got that plugged into a Sumoko SRM9010 radio. Um, this will work with any radio that has a 9600 board packet port on it. Um, but these are the uh, commercial radios that I've been having fun with using with, uh, with D-Star. I've got it plugged into an outside antenna. The microphone that's plugged into this radio, you don't talk through this, but it does allow you to change the channel and uh, see when the radio is receiving and transmitting. Um, on the software, the D-Star client software is written by Jonathan Naylor, G4KLX, and you can find this on the Yahoo group at D-Star Development. And I recommend going there and having a look through some of the messages and download this thing and have to play with it. It's, um, it's very, very good. In the configuration, I've set the MyCall to be VK5ZEAX, the X being for experimental. And um, I was told, told it where to find the, uh, the COM port for the DV dongle and configure the audio in and out for both voice and D-Star. And I think I've also inverted the transmit and receive audio as needed for the Simoco radio. On my side here, I've got some uh, windows opened up for the sound cards so I can just tweak the audio. It's working fairly good at the moment. Well, uh, we'll give it a shot. I've got this set on channel two which is 145.1125. It's a simplex D-Star frequency used here in Australia, and I've got that set into my 91AD here as well. So I'll put that on the floor uh, to keep the RF away from the computer. I've got the speaker microphone in my hand. I'll just turn the audio up a little bit on the computer, and I'll transmit, and we'll see what happens. This is vk 5 ZDA testing. And it works. And it works. With a bit of echo in there as well. With a bit of echo in there as well. And it beeps uh, just like an ICOM radio when it's finished receiving. So that's working uh, on receive. Let's try it on transmit. So I bring the radio back up here onto the uh, onto the table. We've got it in proximity to the other ones. You can see that uh, when it's when it's transmitting, uh, I'm using a little uh, headset microphone to talk into. That's plugged into the sound card on the side of the computer. And the mouse is over the transmit bar, so I should just be able to click it and talk, and it should work. Let's give it a shot. This is vk 5 ZDA testing. testing. Bit of R2-D2 at the start. R2D2 at the start. But now it's working pretty good. Now it's working pretty good. You can see the uh, transmission is happening. Transmission is happening. And my voice is coming out of the Ocom radio. Coming out of the Ocom radio. And that's working there. Now, as I'm filming this, it's Monday morning in Australia, which means it's Sunday evening in Missouri. So uh, we should be able to find Connie's net in progress right now. So if I change this to channel 9, which is the VK5 REXC frequency, we should... Gmail.com Okay. Uh, thank you, Connie. Thank you, everybody on the net. Uh, There's someone there. This is Kenny 5G. Okay, very good, Richard. Well, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad it dropped below 190 there. And uh, I was wondering, what, what radio are you using, Mobile? Well, I've had 
had this one while it's an ID 800. Uh, also have a 2200H with card in it and, um, and a 91 AD, so uh, I'm these star portals. <laughs> Give me five. Just Okay, very good, Okay, and there we go. So this is receiving the off-air repeater frequency. And uh, we've got a computer-based D-Star radio. Now, the really interesting thing that I like to point out is we've got uh, Samoko radio here. And up at the repeater site, VK5REXC is also using two of these as a repeater. You can see them in one of my other videos. So here we've got no ICOM RF hardware at all. Um, we've got an ICOM controller up at the repeater site and the ICOM G2 software, but the hardware, the RF hardware up at the repeater, plus the RF hardware here, is non ICOM. So um, this uh, also goes to show that you don't need to have um, ICOM radios to use D Star. There are ways around it for those who want to have an experiment. And uh, this shows you how to do it. So I recommend you get onto the Yahoo group D Star development and download this software and have a play. Um, of course, this also opens up the opportunity to use other bands. There's no need to use 2 meters or 70 centimeters or 23 centimeters. You can use this on 6 or 10. It could possibly even fit into HF if uh, you're very, very careful with your, uh, your emissions and don't splatter too much around you. I'm fairly sure that these will fit into, a uh, D-Star Sigma will fit down in HF uh, quite satisfactorily as well. Um, so there's a, open for experimentations there with other bands. Um, so there you go. If you have any questions, please uh, leave a message or send me an email and leave comments. That would be really good. This is VK5ZEA, Michael in Port Lincoln, 73s, and I'll talk to you again soon.